Hi everyone and welcome to my uh, PID tutorial. Um, the journey began um, with an Arduino and uh, a code um, library which was developed by a guy called Brett Beauregard um, the details of which you can see on your screen at the moment. What you can see here is uh, my system components and um, the Arduino uh, mega board um, and it's connected through um, this cable to the uh, op amp and the um, photo resistor, which is um, uh, GL5528. Um, and um, a white LED, um, which is pulse width modulated to produce light of varying intensity, which illuminates the sensor over here. Um, normally, um, this lid has a uh, sorry. This box has a lid um, to to keep it dark inside. And uh, you can now see a close up, uh, close up of the light chamber, um, and you see uh, in more detail the position of the white LED uh, and the photo resistor. Um, you can also see a lump of blue tack in the uh, bottom right hand side of the. Um, case which I've just used to seal it to keep the light out and here's a close-up of the uh, the light sensor itself uh, and the uh, LM358 um, voltage follower um, this is just a standard component it costs about four pounds um, from Maplin in the UK this sheet um, or this picture rather shows the um, uh, the processing development environment um, for those with, with a historical interest in Arduino, um, I understand that um, uh, Arduino is effectively a reskinned and slightly modified version of the uh, processing um, environment, which was originally developed for, for artists to give them easier access to programming. Anyway, uh, Brett Beauregard uh, used it um, to develop um, the uh, the, the, what he refers to as the front end, which is effectively um, a Windows um, screen that allows you to see the performance, the parameters um, within the um, within the Arduino PID equipment, and I'll show that next. This is what the processing code um, provides, um, effectively uh, a means of seeing into. Um, the, uh, the Arduino PID controller itself. Um, it allows you to see various of the PID parameters, uh, such as the set point, and it also allows you to dynamically change um, the various PID parameters, KP, KI, KD, and allows you to send those parameters directly um, into your uh, PID algorithm. Um, Brett reports um, in his um, comments in his in his code that he had quite a lot of challenges um, getting the serial um, data communication to work effectively, um, and I, it's not for the faint-hearted, I don't think, to try and pass parameters over the serial port. So this front end makes the whole thing um, very straightforward. Over um, in the display, you can actually see the green line, um, which is the set point. The process variable which is um, the red uh, line activity here and the actual controller output and I'll come on to those in a bit more detail later in this video. And the other component of the system is uh, the Arduino compiler. I'm using version 1.6.8 here um, and you can see that I've um, uh, included um, the PID um, library um, and I'm also utilizing um, another um, uh, library, the PWM library, which is uh, also available for download from the uh, Arduino website. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is the uh, operation of the system. Um, I've spent a bit of time pre uh, previously um, tuning my system uh, to tune the um, KP and the uh, KI parameters. With this particular um, plant, um, there's no requirement for KD. It makes the system unstable. Um, what I'm going to do now is step through uh, a range of set points, and you'll see how 
um, the system um, is able to exert control over the uh, plant. So we're going to jump now from 100 to 300. We'll send that to the Arduino. And you can see over here on the right hand side now the green line, the set point has jumped up to 300. And the controller has responded, um, which is the, the red line. You can see there's quite a bit of low level oscillation uh, around the set points and the output is still at a low level. We'll just increase that up now to 400. Let's send that to the controller. Relatively small change and you can see the controller action here moving up to the new set point level and again a bit of noise around the set point where the controller is unable to cope with the um, non-linearity of the, um, the photoresistor output at this point. So if we go up to 500 now we start to come into a stable stable range of operation. So there's 500 and you'll start to see that the level of oscillation around the uh, set point starts to, to reduce. The system starts to stabilize. As we go up again to 600, we're now well within the usable band of the sensor. The controller exerting its influence. You see also the output increasing down here on the bottom right hand side. So we're getting quite a, a usable system at this point now. And again, we'll jump up to 700. And you can see the controller again exerting its influence. More slowly uh, for this step. But also we get to a point where we've got a much more stable um, output from the system and you can see over here that the uh, um, the, uh, the uh, positions tracking very closely to the set point we'll just go up again to 800 where again we have quite a stable situation Start to see the output increasing now. This could do with a little bit more um, eye in it, so I'm just going to increase that as well. I just put 0.25 in there. Because the response was quite slow here. We'll now move up to 900 and hopefully the response will be a bit quicker. You'll notice here how the output has increased more substantially for that one step than it did for any of the previous steps. And we've got very stable control here now. And the uh, photoresistor in this range is really in its, in its sweet spot. If we uh, increase the output now to a thousand, sorry, the set point to a thousand, We'll again start to see some oscillation as the controller struggles to control. We'll just drop that back down to 500. And the controller comes down quite quickly. to the new set point.
So that gives an overview of how effective the uh, controller and the plant work together. So that pretty much concludes this presentation. Um, I'll put some links down below where um, I got the source code um, and the various libraries and also some references um, to some uh, online uh, tutorials. Um, some people have put off PID um, because the math at first appears to be quite daunting. Um, I'll put a link up to um, some control systems tutorials that actually give you a high level overview of the math and show you how to get from differential equations through the Laplace um, transform process to some actually quite simple algebraic manipulations and ultimately um, PID translates into a, a very simple algorithm um, uh, quite unexpectedly. Um, so enjoy. Thank you for watching the video.